Hi everyone, in this video I'll teach you my new way of taking podcast notes and what I think is the best way to take podcast notes these days using the Snipped app. If you're new here, I'm a certified math and physics teacher in Ontario who holds a master's degree in statistics. What you're seeing on the side of the screen here is my pocket cast statistics since 2018. January 2018, I've listened to almost 33 entire days worth of podcasts. So you can figure out the number of hours, but they, they say a little funny quote here. Uh, the line, lightning struck 17 million times. Okay, so I've listened to a lot of podcasts. And I'm not sure I have as much retention and knowledge to, to show for it. Right, Like podcasts, it's audio. Most of the time I'm doing other things. Some podcasts, it's just like conversations and entertainment. So I don't expect to like change it to change my life more than listening to radio or watching tv does but a lot of those other podcasts it's like hardcore like a master class in like a, a high up university topic and yet I, I barely have any knowledge i only have like surface knowledge like one or two sentences about each field so that's that's not very useful right so i started taking podcast notes using the OneNote app like with the badge and i might create a video for that, you might see it in the in the cards up here. And that worked decent, but there's a lot of downsides. It doesn't show like the timestamp, it, it does, there's no link to it. It, 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 was, uh, it wasn't the best, right? So then that's when I discovered the Snipped app. So I'll head over into that app and I'll give you a little tutorial of the powerful things it can do. Snipped is spelled S-N-I-P-D. I think it's pronounced Snipped, I'm not sure. I like the word, of the sound of snip. So how about that? And then let's say it's the regular podcast app like any other, it looks like any other one, but then it uses AI to do a bunch of fun things. So here, let's say Huberman Lab Podcast, one of my favorite podcasts. Uh, just the, this is a released uh, newest uh, episode, the, the Science and Treatment of Bipolar Disorder. And let's say we're playing, uh, we're playing this podcast. Okay. Discuss science and science-based tools of all categories of disabilities leading to global burden. Put in plain English, what that means is having bipolar one or bipolar two disorder is extremely debilitating. It really slows down one's life trajectory unless it's treated properly. So let's say that was like a, a mind blowing insight. Yeah, I just like fast forward it and thought it was pretty good. I can hit create snip. I don't even need to pause the podcast to create a snip, but I'm just doing it for explanatory purposes here and uh, automatically it generates a title so the global bumper of having bipolar uh, disorder and you see that there's a typo here bipolar it's because it uses ai it's like cool enough that uh, it does this but let's say uh, life outcomes okay that's that's my note and the reason you see the keyboard come in and out it's because i'm using my my actual computer keyboard to do it has other suggested titles that AI generates. So it, it's already good. You can add a private note and let's say that's good enough. But what I usually do is I edit the timestamp. So I, I'll just uh, do stay here and it really slows uh, one's life trajectory unless it's treated properly. So let's say I want just that sentence here. So start here, I click on it and then properly and here. And then that's that. So then I click the check mark in the top right. I can hit share, which is a really cool feature. So you can share directly in Messenger as a link, or you can share it as a video. So I'll show you the video feature, which is super cool. If I go video, I can save it, download it, I can share it a bunch of ways. And this is awesome for social media. There's different, uh, there's different things you can do. Let's say you just want you want the transcript, so you can it go like this. really slows down one's life trajectory unless it's treated properly. Right? So that's really cool. You can do the it sound. really slows down one's life trajectory unless it's treated properly. Yeah, and obviously this is a super short snip, and I'll just delete that one, but you can see how it's super useful. So let's say we want to review our snips. We can go in snips at the bottom in the menu, then all snips. You have a bunch of snips here. That's the one I just took, Life Outcomes on the Huberman Lab. This is Ali Abdal's uh, with episode with Richard uh, Wiseman. Really good episode. I have uh, about 10 snips here. 
and uh, you can re reread all of them. You can re-listen to all of them. You can like basically get like a, a podcast episode in like four or five minutes uh, by stringing them one after another. But really, it, it's better to just read the notes you you've uh, you you took right from those snips. So then there's a bunch of ways you can do that. You can just look at the title. So I usually write my note in the title. That's the best way to do that. But you can also export all your snips, right? So export snips, you have uh, sync all snips. So my snipped app is synced with Readwise. So I'll put a link in the description below and some cards as you can see how it relates to my second brain and how it remem helps me remember books and podcasts and all of that. And then I also have it configured with Notion. And you can export it to Obsidian, uh, LogSec, or Markdown. Okay, so I don't know about these three. I've never used these features, but I personally really love that it's you can export it to Readwise and in Notion. So I'll just like take a minute or two to talk about each one. So now I'm in Notion, and all my podcast notes are synced automatically. I don't need to do any extra work. And from here, I can send this page, like I can just do share, right? And then I can share it to the web, add it to my website. I can do a lot of things. I can keep uh, some stats of my podcast that way. And if we just open one page as an example, you get the title, you get a bunch of metadata. And I added these two tags, uh, these two uh, properties here. So the score, I'll put a nine. That was a really good podcast episode. And then they talk about magic, right? So I might add magician as my master tag and magic because I already created those tags. And then you can see that it, it links uh, automatically to that. So it's connected within my whole second brain, which is super useful. And then you have all your snips. So for example, let's say how, how to write a good book. That seems like a good snip. We can play it. We have the transcript of the, the, the snip. And then you, you also have a summary that's automatically generated. Let's say we, we play it. It brings us to a snip page, which we just have like the three minutes of that snip. And then from here, you can send in a bunch of ways as well. You can discover more snips. And it's super cool how most of the work is done for you using AI. Like I used to take notes using OneNote and it was pretty good. And honestly, that's probably the best thing for most people. But for if you're a content creator that writes about podcasts, this is so much better. So now let's head over into Readwise and I'll just show you quickly what that looks like with the integration. So this is the Readwise homepage. As you can see, browse highlights. We have podcasts. Now there's three podcasts and this is what it looks like. It, it, it's pretty long, right? You get the transcripts and the summary in each thing. And you can just turn off the setting if you don't want it to be in your readwise. Let's say it's too long, then that's not good, right? So that's why maybe you can just put the, the summary as your note, which would be a, a good idea here. So I hope I've convinced you that Snipped is a pretty good podcast app and it might be the best one for you as it was for me. And I'm pretty happy how it is so far. And as a content creator, it's it's awesome. It's it, You can't beat that. Maybe some other apps will it come and beat it. But right now on the market, there's nothing that uses AI to that degree. And even as it just a podcast consumer, the fact that it splits up podcasts into chunks for you allows you kind of on YouTube timestamp to, to skip parts of the podcast, right? So that's super cool. And that's done all automatically. And even if you want to share a part of a podcast with your friend, that's definitely the easiest way to do that. So even as a consumer, I would argue that Snip is the best podcast player app. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I think you're going to enjoy the other videos I created about my second brain environment and my GTD system. So make sure to check those out. And as always, thank you for doing the work. Mm -hmm.